Good Tuesday morning. I hope you're having a wonderful start of this beautiful day. We are in Genesis 9. And again, the Lord is giving us so much to grab a hold of. Even in 2019, he tells us to replenish the earth. Like I said, not only physically, but with his spirit, with his influence. We are to be fruitful in our works, just like a tree planted by the, the river of rivers so that we could produce and bring forth in our season and our leaf shall bring forth healing to all who's around us. Amen. And that's in uh, verse one and verse three, like I said, is a case for those who still eat meat. I was at a, a celebration last night and ooh, they had some delicious barbecue chicken. It looked, it looked delicious. And I was like, wow. And I just sometimes live vicariously through my son. I was like, wasn't that some good barbecue chicken? And he was like, no, it was cold, you know. So even though I do not eat meat, I do not look down on people. And why? Because it says, every moving thing that liveth shall be meat for you. Even as green herb have I given you all things. So I do not just, you know, be like, oh, you know, they're going to hell. No, this is just what I do because... Um, I'm on that perpetual Daniel denial where I just, you know, believe in eating vegetables and fruit and what have you. And something about the the friends, a uh, couple, the one who murdered their son in verse six. Now, this is just even before I read this, I was like, I believe just personally that the parent's life should be taken from themselves because they took they took the life of their own son, had him stand in cold water, and they beat him to death. They had to be on drugs. One of them. I don't know the backstory, but it says in verse 6, Whoso sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. For in the image of God made he man. So I know that there's grace, there's mercy. I just can't see how a mother can see the lifeblood and the air and just just existence be taken away from her son, her, her child. So uh, this is what I have to say. I'm going to um, turn it over to Timotheus. Verse 22, Ham, father of Canaan, saw his father naked, so he went outside and told his two brothers. Uh, okay, so that's what we're talking about when, I guess... Like one of Noah's sons, like saw him naked or whatever, and then like the brother immediately like went to tell his other brothers what he saw, but instead of doing what like his other brothers did when like they put a blanket over him, uh, Canaan he is his name or or okay his name whatever his name is he 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 should have just like done that immediately instead of like going to like tell other people and and like like running his mouth. When it, instead he wanted to like like tell the people everything like that happened, and then like go help. But first, before you do anything, like when you hear people's problems, you don't like go out and tell the tell the world like what's going on with them. Like first, you help them, you pray for them. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, like gossiping is is not it's not um, healthy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It just shows what, you, what your mindset is. Right. You're to cover one another, right? Just because you have knowledge of something, you don't broadcast it. Now, but in the other juncture, in Proverbs 28, 13, he that covereth his sins shall not prosper. So when we're trying to live a double life, you know, shady and hypocritical, when we do not confess it and forsake it them, then we won't have mercy. So we're talking about the grace of God, <laughs> It needs to be extended to all of us, even to that friend's uh, couple family. Let's pray for them because that whole community in Crystal Lake is still uh, suffering. And we just all need the loving kindness of a, a mighty God, our Father. Let us extend grace to one another too and have a wonderful day in the Lord. Enjoy.